in this episode, we're going to discuss how to find the best school for your kids. So I want to share with you the top tips that we feel are important when looking for a new school. And the reason why we want to talk about finding the right school is we believe it's so, so important that your kids are happy. If your kids are happy, then you are going to be much, much happier in the new place. And taking us back to when I was nine years old and we moved to Luxembourg, we started going to the American International School in Luxembourg and totally fell in love with the place. And because we enjoyed that school so much, even though my father had finished his contract in Luxembourg after a year or two, he decided to get another job there and to stay there because we enjoyed the school so much. And they ended up staying until I was about 26 years old and then finally they have now moved back to Sweden. But it's just quite interesting how important it is to find that right school, especially considering you might be staying where you are right now for a very long time to come. So there are several things to look at when you're looking for a new school. And for me, the most important thing is, of course, going to visit the schools. And when we came here to Valencia, we decided to look at schools that had a similar system to if we decided to, let's say, move to another country again, which would probably, let's say, be England, we wanted to find a school that was very relevant for our kids to then easily transfer back there. So I think that's something that's really important to understand your situation of where are you possibly moving back to. I'm also seeing, hey, what languages do I want my kids to learn? Um, what we're very fortunate with here in, in Valencia is that in any school they would go to, they would learn both Spanish, and then if we choose the right school, they would also learn English, of course. And as we speak English at home and Swedish, um, they would have you know those three languages down. And I think that's one of the things that we found very, very important. Another thing that uh, we, we believe is, 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 of course, something you have to look at is budget. You know, what can you afford and so on? And do you go with like a local public school, which is possibly free, or do you go with one of the private schools, which can be very, very expensive? In our situation, we just wanted the best possible education for our kids. We believe that spending, you know, that's really where, where a lot of our budget goes to is, 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 is education for our kids. And because we both had the same experience. We both were, in, uh, were able to go to some top international schools. We were able to go to top universities. And because of that, we believe that we want to give our kids the same chance as, as we got. And budget is, of course, another one. And another thing that's really important, I believe, is the location, of course, to where you're living. So some people actually choose a school first and then decide to live close to that school, whereas other people decide to live, uh, find their house or apartment first and then look for schools around that. In our situation moving to Valencia, we wanted to be close to the water. We wanted to be right by the beach. And so because of that, we then have taken a look at all the different English-speaking schools. And we narrowed it down to four schools. And we visited all those four schools. And we just got a feel for each of the schools. And uh, all of them were amazing. But we did find one school that was actually the closest one to us and they had the nicest facilities. They had the whole thing of being able to get our kids to get into the British system. And we just felt that that was the place to be. Another thing I highly suggest is when you're looking at schools and you're looking at possibly staying there long term, if we are in our situation, we always think long term. What do the alumni say about that school? And of course, maybe they're going to be very, you know, think about their school as the best thing ever. But we actually got in touch with some alumni from these different schools. And also, we got in touch with a few different parents from the schools as well. And from looking at all those different things, we were able to say, hey, this is the school where we want our kids to enroll. And of course, if things don't always go right in that school, you always have the, uh, the possibility of changing things later on. But one of the things that was really important to us as well was, can our kids stay in this school until they, they finish to graduate? Those are just some of the top tips for the day. And if you're looking for other expat life hacks, please come back here soon. See you soon.